Oh, hey. Yeah, I'm Scott. I was just like looking out the window there. Oh, but then again, like, I mean, you don't really know if I'm Scott. Maybe I'm just like some really advanced, really realistic AI. But then again, it's like, why would AI choose to look like me or like someone choose to prompt AI to get this exactly? I mean, I guess it's possible, but anyways, we're getting off topic. Uh, I am Scott. I've been making YouTube videos for a few years now, including drone shots and and GoPro shots, you know, I've done travel and history and surfing and fitness and well, let's just, let's just have a look, shall we? And then we'll proceed from there. Well, this is my channel. Let's start with my most popular video that happens to be over one minute, a video of the Yamava Resort and Casino in Southern California. An Indian casino, by the way, in which I gave a full historical presentation on and also in Southern California, is a Carnival Cruise Terminal, and more importantly, the Queen Mary, a historic ship. And yeah, I like to try and make these videos fun. And then there are these sand dunes in Southern California, like most of my videos, and I really went out of my way for this particular video, and it meant quite a lot to me. Then again, you know, all of these videos mean quite a lot to me. And then I made this video reel to demonstrate a plugin used for film emulation, and these are some of my best shots from over the years. And speaking of, this is one area I still believe AI should never do, serious travel films and videos. Travel really is about the person's experience of the place and in the moment. It shouldn't be a generic reconstruction by a computer. And more of these videos are coming. Hey, I'm no Steven Spielberg over here, but I think I've made enough real-world videos to be able to comment on the merits of both real-world videos and AI videos. But let's get to the AI now. In fact, I got this one comment that called one of my most recent videos AI garbage. And that comment motivated me to clear the air. In fact, I was actually once quite opposed to and skeptical of AI videos. So yeah, you had this totally generic voiceover where it sounded like a ton of voiceovers, but it didn't, there was no emotion in the voice. It was just like, Great Bear National Park. But then one day I saw a thumbnail for Nightmare on Elm Street, 1950s Super Panavision 70. I was curious. I was intrigued. I knew it wasn't real, but such an intense film re-envisioned as a 1950s film? Come on, I had to check it out. And I liked it. Then I binged at least 10 more videos on the first day, including Scream 1950s. And well, what did the comments have to say? One said, I need this made as an actual movie. And it 1950s. A comment for this said, the irony is that this follows the book closer than the actual film does. And another comment said, I'm obsessed with this. And this channel is still one of my favorites. Eventually, I learned about the channel Abandoned Films. Apparently the original Super Panavision 70 channel and one of the biggest. And just a few of the standout trailers from this channel, Avatar. And here's one of the comments. This is wonderful. It's like you've discovered a secret portal to an alternate Hollywood of the 1950s. The Matrix. And another comment. I would be willing to pay for movies and shows you do. And here's a comment. I'd sit through a whole movie in this style and Blade Runner. And a comment for this video, even more fantastic when set in a futuristic 1950s, I'm really enjoying these. The channel Abandoned Films truly is genius and quite inspiring. And it seems the people have spoken. And then there's Patrick Gibney. He had some cool trailers. And he even made a tutorial that got me into making these videos. After watching it, I said to myself, I got this. Challenge accepted. 
In fact, Patrick Gibney's use of somewhat era-appropriate casting inspired me to go that route with my own trailers. Some of my favorites from Patrick Gibney, The Matrix, and for some comments, Audrey Hepburn as Trinity is something I never knew I wanted, but now badly desire it. That's a cool concept. Futuristic 1950s style Matrix, sign me up. Inception. And for some comments on this one, now the dream sequences would actually look dreamlike. The dream aspect of Inception makes the AI images really well suited for it. It's like watching an animated Viewmaster and Blade Runner. And some comments here. Adding 50s era actors makes it more fun and believable. I like the AI movie trailers. They're more sci-fi-esque than regular sci-fi movies. Like I said, using 1950s actors makes it so much better. And the same goes for effects and costumes. Now I know what many of you are thinking. Come on, this is silly. It's nonsense. It's stupid. Maybe even inappropriate. And well, garbage. But it's hard to disagree with millions of views and many glowing comments. For me, this trend unlocked my imagination, and with that, a new frontier of possibilities. And I think it has done that for many people. It allows us to be like kids again. But now, our wild ideas actually come with pictures. The irony is that thanks to AI, my channel has more engagement and more human interest than most of my actual 100% human-made videos ever gave me. At least for me, it has given me more of a real sense of the so-called YouTube community. Of course, for my fan-made trailers, I always carefully consider the important members of the cast, and then I choose what themes to focus on, and I feed the AI specific lines of dialogue or narration to put into the script, and I come up with my own original visual elements to distinguish my vision from the original films. To me, as long as human creativity and knowledge is involved, and there is no intent to deceive, all is well. The truth is that I once spent an embarrassing amount of time locked away for countless thousands of hours watching movies and TV shows and documentaries about movies and TV shows. So this feels like a personal watershed moment in which all that wasted time is actually paying off. I have at least 10 or more of these trailers up my sleeve, and then I will likely return to focusing on real world videos. But then again, who knows? But one thing is for sure, if I have anything to say about it, this channel will continue. And this Super Panavision 70 thing is just one small part of the picture. I recently discovered A's Altar on my homepage, an artist that uses AI to create original videos. He calls himself a world builder, among other things. And well, he is building up the dreams of many of us. This moment has reminded me that there is more than just facts and reality. The imagination has power and value too. This isn't that serious, really. It's just entertainment. But then again, watching adults in costumes and do make-believe for millions of dollars, now that is serious.